Oh guys, back at the wreckers, Brandon's taking out the seats of the other truck, so I figured I'd walk around while well, I went back to that Dodge because I didn't get the one side of the carpet up very well. And we get another six dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. Dodge is good for something. <laughs> yep, stealing your money. <laughs> I'll show you that topper that Brandon wants. I wanna I forgot to bring a measuring tape uh, to see if it fits. Yeah, this is the one he wants. It's like absolutely really raised, nice raised topper, mint, mint condition. So I'm gonna find out how much he wants for it. J O four one three one. So we're back here at Timmy's. Thanks to that Dodge, bought us a round of Timmy's. <laughs> so we got the seats. No ice. Gonna have to do some major revamping to get those brackets to work, but we'll get them to work. Got to. Got to now. Yep. And he only charged you eighty-five bucks. Yeah. Because we went through the, all the pain of uh, taking them out and uh, carrying them all the way to the fucking building. Yeah, he was like, I was carrying the seat on top of my, upside down on top of my head. He was, he was like, you're the first one that's ever bought a seat with, or spent uh, spent money here with a seat on his head. I suppose I'll give it to you for 85 I was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely mint condition, though. Yeah, buddy. Thanks for the help, Shane. No problem. Yeah, buddy. Cheers. Okay guys, so that's actually the bolts line up at the back. Like you can see the daylight through there and you can't see the daylight but the hole is there. Um, but the problem is, you wanna hold that face in there. Okay, now if I push down so it holds the bracket still, We have that much space on the front that I was thinking maybe if I weld a bar from let's say the bottom here all the way down so it's on that angle and then slide a bolt underneath and then it'll lay right up against this metal. But other than that, it's like, ah. can you go back a bit? Try and get the whole thing in the picture. Other than that, it's like beautiful. Huh? Yeah, buddy. So we're gonna have to get a plate. Mm. Uh, that that'd be the easiest. Get a plate, yep. weld it in between, drill a hole. Well, drill a hole in the center of the plate, right? And then weld it in between here. And then you just gotta hook a bolt drop in there, bolt drop a bolt through, and it'll push up against this mm -hmm. if you went from here to here. Mm -hmm. And that worked perfect. Mm -hmm. So we gotta go get some some steel. What, just like sheet steel? Well, it's gotta be a little heavier, right? Yeah. It's gotta be about this thick, so this has gotta be 16 gauge. Okay. It's gotta be 14 or 16 gauge this, so. Sweet. Mm. Fuck, it looks gorgeous. We get a piece of bed frame over there. Would that we work? should put the two bolts in the back. Yeah. Just we get a piece of bed frame over there. Would that work? Yeah, bed frame will work. Yeah, there's a piece of brown bed frame over there. Yeah. <laughs> but it won't be wide enough. That's the problem. You don't think? No. I think it will. Uh, maybe. Hammer it out straight. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're in our junk pile. Somewhere in here, because we used Somewhere. it to get the Sears out, remember? Oh, yeah. And I thought we brought it with us. If not, it's still in Lucan, and we'll grab it. Got some nice aluminum fucking shit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Where'd this gas can come from? Oh, the shed. The, the shed. fucking animals chewed it. <laughs> There's a coon living in our shed. We gotta clean it out. I think we might have to call animal con care and control to, uh, cause there's babies in there. So we'll have to get them to get rid of the mama and the babies. 
hockey helmet and rubber nets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, but we're in the city, eh? People see you shooting coons. <laughs> yep. But it's beautiful. It's like 18 degrees. I just checked the thing. It's like borderline 19 degrees out, man. Beautiful. Almost time. Almost time to go get the shorts. Yeah, almost. yeah. Okay. What do you mean almost? Okay, hang on. Okay. <laughs> the size of you and the size of the insulation you have on your legs, <laughs> you can get away with wearing shorts. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, grab a seat. Comfy. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it forward every time I try and lean back on the seat. It tips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's cool. It's going to be that easy just to weld the plate. Yeah. I Here I was thinking I'd have to... Shave it down. Well, yeah, shave it down. Well, you can't shave it down because then you lose the angle yeah. of the, the yeah. chair. But that's going to work awesome. Yeah. Oh, and just in case anybody's wondering, the seats are out of an O2. Yeah, 2002. 2002 extended cab. Easy transferable if you got a this style of Ranger. Yeah, older 80. style. 83 and up. <laughs> well, 83 to 92. 92 was the last year for this style. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, and there's an awesome, awesome topper there for cheap. And it's like mint. Oh, the one I showed you. But uh, they want real cheap for it. So, yeah, going to look at getting that. Perfect for the winter. Yeah. Well, I, I have a topper, right? It's I know. Just, it's it's not just tall enough. No, it's. It's too short. I need yeah. taller. So many times have I had to unscrew it, lift the topper to put something in it. To put and something put in, and then, and yeah, I know, eh? Right? <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's get this figured out. Right. Cheers, guys. We're gonna keep working at this. Might not get it done today, but we're gonna work at Tomorrow, it. Tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Yep. Want it done this weekend? Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> so just the same. Just the same, the rear bolts uh, line up, but the front doesn't. And yep, just a little bit of little plate welding, and that's awesome. Sweet. From the console. Yes. Nice. Bitch, you missed that. Yep. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> Nice. Okay, I'm gonna get in the back and see how it is with somebody sitting in the back. That just looks 10 times better. And it's still comfy for people in the back. The seats aren't too high because when you sit on the jumpers in the back, um, uh, I can see right over top of this. Like my head usually doesn't touch this roof and I'm six foot two, so. Sweet. A yeah, little bit of adjustment, rear just the same, the rear bolt holes match up, just the front doesn't, so we're going to have to adjust that. But looks ten times better and ten times more comfy, eh? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay guys, we're here at the shop. Uh, couldn't wait, left them in. So I got Brandon cutting a piece of metal. And what I did, how I'm doing this, is I grabbed a piece of cardboard and I stuffed it under here and I bent it up like so. And we're going to cut a flat piece of steel, put it in the vise, make these bends, and then take the seed out and then weld it to all across the bottom here and weld it all, all across the bottom here make a new hole in it in this one and we can stuff it right down and ratchet wrench it in and do the same to all four fronts yeah he's happy <laughs> okay guys so right there I just gotta weld along the back here along the front down there and drill a hole now I gotta make one for the other side and then we'll be golden. <laughs> you don't have it, make it.
Okay guys, got it tack welded, my new bracket. I just gotta pull the chair out. That's a shitty weld, but it's just tacked there. And got the holes marked from underneath from where the original holes are. And then Brandon can drill the holes in the mark and we're good as gold. Then we just got the driver's side. Y'all yeah, buddy. Yeah. Cut the paddle switch in the Y'all yeah, buddy. Yeah. One down, one to go. Yeah. She's all welded and bolted. Nice. So I gotta gotta make one more on the other side and we're golden. Got the seatbelt on. Yeah, and Believe it or not, we took this off to put the other seatbelt on because the actual latch is different. This is a freaking airbag. I hooked up power. I thought it was lumbar support or something like that. But this is airbag. What happens is the seatbelt is connected to a cable. And I guess when your airbags go off, this thing blasts and tightens your, uh, your seatbelt. Man, I would hate to have... To be sitting, I'd break my hip. My hip would snap in pieces if that ever happened to me. So just a warning, guys, your seat belt has a freaking airbag. Okay, we're gonna take the other one off and I'll explode it and show you how much force. <laughs> all right, we're all done. My chicken shit weld there, but it's got good penetration. I got all the way around the other side too. And same as here and up there. Sweet. This is the last one, buddy. All right. Well, we're going to fight getting it in. All righty. We are all done and installed. My brackets are beautiful. Absolutely awesome. All bolted in. Ready to rock. And it looks comfy, man. Yeah. He's already got a Timmy's in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the garbage bin. Yep, yeah, and the garbage bin out back. Oh well. A little bit of cleanup. But yep, hundred bucks, bit of ingenuity and yeah. she's beauty. Well the next time I go to the records I'm gonna steal a new cap for this. If you can find it in tan. Yeah. Oh I didn't even care if it's black. As I said, it, like it's just from elbow, right? So no, that's not what I'm worried some, about. What? Oh, it's cracked? I, I can feel it. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. But it's, it's just a cap. Yeah. yeah. I don't even care if the cap's black. That'll actually look kind of different. Yeah. Whatever. Alrighty. It's like how I want to rape that other, the truck we stole, the window vent visors and the mirrors off. Yeah. I want the red seat belts. <laughs> 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 Alrighty. Sweet. Yeah, and we had to put the old seatbelts in. Yeah, yeah. Because the buckles were different. Yeah, the buckles are different on the newer Ford. Alrighty, guys. Now uh, I'm going to take that little uh, seatbelt home and uh, we'll blow it up. <laughs> okay, guys. Like I was saying, those seatbelts. Now, these are the original seatbelts in your Ford. If you got it. 2002 Ranger, who knows what other years. But, okay, now check out the length of this, right? Okay, now it's got wires going to it, and I've got the wires here, and I've got a 12 volt battery. Now I'm going to show you what this thing does. Like, I've got pins holding my hip together. This would absolutely break my hip. Get back get a shot on it okay you ready and bam it pinches it in so when your airbags goes off it like I don't know a good three inches it pulls it in mm -hmm. it's held on by this cable and it shoots out here but yeah, that would absolutely, absolutely kill a, a freaking hip. <laughs> so, just in case you guys didn't know you had one of these in your Ranger, now you know. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, mom, noisy fuckers. <laughs>